What's up everybody? It's a crappy day here in South Carolina, so it's a great opportunity to get uh, a couple of indoor projects done. Uh, if you've seen any of my previous videos, you know that we we're working on our second floor, uh, second story, um, removed all the carpet and uh, installed some wood flooring. Um, in the process of staining and sealing those floors now. Um, so I just thought I would give you a quick, um, maybe product review, I guess you'd call it, um, an overview, um, and some just some thoughts on some of the stuff that we used uh, up to this point. Uh, so let's uh, take a look. So this is the product uh, that we used to coat the floors. It's a one-step floor finish by Minwax. Um, I'll put a link uh, above here to uh, the video that I did previously about the installation part of the flooring uh, and what we were doing. But again, this is the product that we used. Uh, pretty simple to use, but overall, this stuff is garbage. Um, and I can show you a bit more uh, on the floor get up there but I just want to talk about this product specifically uh, right now so you can see it says complete projects two times faster colors and protects exceptional durability no sanding between coats I want to say that at least two of the three promises here are nonsense um, it is easy to use like I said um, you install your um, flooring in this case we used white pine um, and this is what the coating looks like uh, when applied this is a satin finish um, it, it's got nice color it goes on kind of funny it's not a typical stain uh, but it doesn't apply like a sealer either it goes on kind of like a almost like a paint I want to say um, so you you at times are in danger of it going on too thick um, but it dries relatively quickly too and if you put it on with a foam applicator or even a uh, like a, a, a staining pad like this um, as you apply it it'll start to grab as it dry as it's literally drying that quickly um, and it'll leave dark spots um, so it's pretty annoying you got to keep up with it you got to apply it relatively quickly and make sure that it's going on smoothly. Um, this is two coats on here. The first coat will be very light, um, and then the second coat will be a bit darker. And uh, speaking of multiple coats, uh, it says no sanding between coats. Um, I say that's garbage also. Um, it may just be because of the wood. Uh, using white pine, other woods might react different, differently, but in my experience, when you apply a a stain it it tends to raise the grains or the fibers of the wood so you get some some rough um, texture to it so I just took a 220 grit sanding pad sanding block um, and just did a light sanding um, you can see here it kind of took some off the, the grains but I was um, doing more of a test on this board just to want to see wanted to see what it would do so you can make it look like this which is kind of neat but um, it will cover, uh, uh, you can do it gently enough to where it doesn't uh, remove too much of the finish. It's just enough to knock down that, that uh, fibrous feeling. Then you apply the second coat, um, and it's not too bad after that. Um, but again, to say no sanding between coats, that's, that's nonsense. You, you really have to, otherwise your floor feels uh, crappy. Um, let me just wrap this review up and then I'll show you some examples of what I'm talking about uh, as I go upstairs. Um, I don't even know if this stuff is available, honestly. Um, I got it at Lowe's. Um, I want to say it was like $48 or $50. Um, it was marked down to $18 um, to get rid of it. Um, and there's a, a reason for that, I think. Um, again, for the third time, it does have a nice finish, the color is nice, uh, but you have to work at it to make sure it's nice and smooth. You do have to sand between coats. Um, and then we're talking about exceptional durability. That's that's crap, that's just pure crap. 
Um, because it's not a traditional stain and it's more of a coating, <coughs> it doesn't penetrate the wood. Um, so anything, so it's just on the surface. So if you have dogs or, um, you know, you might have a rock in your shoe if you're not taking your shoes off in your house or whatever the case may be, um, it will scratch and mar that surface quite easily. Um, and it wouldn't be so bad uh, if it did penetrate the wood surface, you may just see you may just see an indentation um, from the dog's toenails or whatever the case may be in the wood itself. Um, but in this case, because it's just a coating, it actually removes that, and you can see the light wood color, um, leaving like very visible scratch marks on the wood, which sucks. Um, and that's something we had to deal with and, and touch up because uh, we do have a big dog and he's young so he still runs around from time to time um, so coverage okay you do have to sand between coats durability is crap uh, I guess it goes a long way I mean I got our whole second story done with about a gallon and a half uh, so that's pretty nice but overall would not recommend the product um, the floor upstairs looks good, but what we're having to do now, and I'm gonna make a, another video of that today, uh, since it's so crappy, wet, and cold outside. Uh, I'm using a uh, polyurethane, oil-based polyurethane, to go over top of this to increase the durability. Uh, I wasn't gonna sand all the color off and restain it. Uh, it's it's that was just that would just be way too much work. And again, it looks good but it's just not strong enough for us. Um, and really, I wouldn't think it's strong enough for anyone. So with that being said, I'm just gonna use a, a polyurethane and go over top of it. Um, and that'll, um, with three coats, definitely increase the durability. I'm using a satin finish so it won't change the sheen of the floor at all. Uh, it's just gonna add a, an extra protective layer without making it super dark. Um, and in my experience, floor coatings, floor polyurethanes are much more durable than this than this garbage. So that's what we're doing. Um, I've actually laid one coat of it down already. Um, so check out uh, my next video and that will be uh, that application process. But let's go upstairs and take a look at the floor and I'll show you what I was talking about in terms of this uh, Minwax uh, complete one step floor finish. All right, so we're upstairs here. Um, take a look at the flooring and what it looks like um, after we applied that two-in-one uh, Minwax uh, nonsense. Um, you'll see that the color is pretty decent um, and it has kind of a nice uh, a nice look. It goes on pretty evenly, uh, but let's take a look at um, some of the scratches and some touch-ups that we've had to do. A little closer look. We chose white pine to uh, knowing that it's soft, uh, especially for floors. Um, but upstairs here, we're going for a more uh, rustic look. We have a lot of, um, you know, we put in high base boards and uh, Wayne's coating, kind of more of a, a, um, a classic look, uh, classic design. Um, and then we wanted to contrast that with kind of a rustic floor. Um, and after six, seven, eight months of this flooring upstairs, uh, we're getting that look so it's pretty cool um, but the issue we're having is the durability of the the floor coating and I've touched up some scratches uh, with the, using the same stuff um, but uh, here's an example here you get a scratch and it goes right through to the color uh, of the wood so you get you not only can see some of the uh, scratches um, as far as uh, texture but you get the color variation too which we didn't want um, and just doing some test boards putting that polyurethane that I discussed on top of this coating um, it provides that extra layer of, uh, of protection so uh, you, you'll get the scratches of course because the wood itself is soft um, but you won't get the uh, color peeling off I actually scraped it scratched it and dented it with a screwdriver uh, to see uh, the effect um, 
that the uh, polyurethane would have, and I was much more happy with that. See, there's a, another one where it goes right through the color. I would show you more scratches, but I already touched uh, them up while I had the product out. Um, but you get the idea. The coating itself is not uh, very durable. So uh, if you choose to use something like that, be aware. But overall, it looks pretty good. Uh, we're pleased with it. Um, and now just taking the extra steps and going over it with the uh, polyurethane. Uh, I went with Minwax again because it's readily, readily available. Uh, it's not super expensive, only $45, uh, and one gallon will get you, uh, you know, quite a ways. Um, so, we're pleased with the floor. We'll get the uh, final coating on it. We'll be protected for a good amount of time. So, here's the last room. Uh, put polyurethane on last night. Let it dry and it's satin finish, so it has just a little sheen. We'll be replacing all the baseboards as well, but uh, I'm going to. It's actually a little tacky still. Um, it's just super chilly and humid because of the, the weather right now, so. Um, I guess I was going to go over it today, but I guess I'll let it dry a bit longer. So uh, I guess just stay tuned. Uh, I thought I'd be able to get a video of this up a little bit quicker, but it uh, looks like we'll have to save it for the weekend, uh, getting the second and third coat of the poly on. Um, check out the link um, to the previous video um, as far as installate, installing uh, the wood and a little bit more discussion about what we got going on upstairs here. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe, please. I uh, definitely appreciate that. Uh, more things to come, house and car related. Uh, we're going to be tiling the laundry room floor as well as um, the uh, second bathroom. Have some tiles picked out. We're going to do some uh, fancy accents on the walls as well. Kind of give our laundry room more of a, a custom, unique look. Um, not sure when we'll sell the house, but it's all about adding value. So that's what our goal is. Um, and you just never know. So, thanks again. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.